See a full gallery of images at JediInsider.com. Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Star Wars 3 and 3 quarter inch Black Series Wave 3, featuring R5G19, Luke Skywalker in Hoth gear, Starkiller, and Darth Malgus. That's right, even though the Black Series has been rocking and rolling with that 6 inch line, one thing that's really great is Hasbro is still offering up some new 3 and 3 quarter inch goodness for all those longtime Star Wars fans out there. So let's go ahead and check out Series 3 of 2014. As you can see, all of the figures come on that now familiar Black Series packaging. It's very nice with a really great kind of TIE Fighter pilot in the background there as an image with the Star Wars Black Series logo up at the top and the little blister bubbles that fully showcase each of the action figures within. The back of all of those boxes have this really dark motif to kind of fit with that whole Black Series theme. There's kind of this grayed out image of each of the different characters, as well as a short description on exactly who each of these figures are. So let's go ahead and open these up and take a look at them one by one. And I'm going to go ahead and start things off with R5G19. I want to start on kind of the lower note of the wave and we'll work our way up here. The reason I say lower note is because this is just another astromech droid. And trust me, I know it's always awesome getting another astromech to add to your collection. Astromechs are great, and this guy here is perfect for completing scenes that you're trying to build, as he comes straight out of that whole briefing room scene where the uh, Rebel Alliance are all listening to Mon Mothma and everything. So if you probably saw this guy in the background of the scene, you're trying to complete that diorama, that's what this figure is good for. Now. He's an astromech droid. We've seen lots of these in the line. I will say, however, this particular one here uh, just doesn't feel as nice and solid and sturdy as some of the ones we've had in the past. He's very lightweight. It's a very light plastic, uh, very little paint deco going on here. He's just molded in this pale white plastic. He does have kind of those maroon and a little bit of silver paint decos put on there. Uh, his articulation is also really loose with the legs just moving forwards and backwards. Got the little feet joints there so the little astromech feet can move. The head can turn left and right. And then we do have the detachable third leg, which works like we've seen it on a few in the past here. It's just a little peg, plugs into the bottom there, so that way we can have them on three legs if we want. And they do have little wheels on the bottom of all three, so that's nice. That way he can wheel around there as well. So, very simple figure. Like I said, just another astromech droid. Um, so he is neat, and it's cool if you're trying to build up a scene. But some of the other figures in this wave are certainly some of the better highlights here. So let's go ahead and move on to Luke Skywalker in Hoth gear. Now we have certainly seen our fair share of Hoth Lukes in the Star Wars lineup. Uh, one of my favorites I, I look back on was the line that I believe it was from the Saga Legends series. Came with the awesome kind of uh, ice base that he can hang from. I always thought that was a really great Hoth Luke and never really saw myself needing another one. But I will say that this new Hoth Luke here is really nice. And one of the really cool things about this one is the articulation. So check this out. The head's on a nice ball joint, so it can look left and right, up and down very nicely. You got these great ball joints at the shoulder, so the arms can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. Great swivels at the elbow, as well as an elbow bend, and swivels at the wrist there. The torso is on a nice ball joint, so it can rock all the way around, look left and right. You got really great ball-like joints at the thighs there, so the legs can go outwards, forwards, and backwards, as well as swivel. Then you also have swivels at the knee cut, as well as a knee bend. And the ankles can move side to side and pivot up and down. So, a really great range of motion on this particular Luke Skywalker figure. Plus, there's lots of great deco going on, and you will notice that he does feature the scratches on his face and everything from the Wampa attack. Uh, but really nice paintwork going all along this figure. Uh, very great, de great details worked in there. So he's a very nice looking Luke, and the articulation is certainly a highlight on this one. Now, he does include a few accessories, so he does have his little trusty blaster. You've got a nice holster on a side there, so you can always holster that if he doesn't want to hold it into his hands. And then it fits perfectly in his right hand, which does have a trigger finger sculpted. In addition to that, he comes with a lightsaber and a lightsaber hilt by itself. So that way you can pose the lightsaber kind of hanging from his belt loop. There is a little hole and there's a little peg in the lightsaber handle so you can just plug that in there. Or of course you can have it in his hands if you want him holding on to the unignited lightsaber. 
and then ready to uh, set himself free and attack the Wampa, you've got yourself the standard lightsaber as well. Uh, this has got that nice kind of translucent pale blue blade. He's got the nice silver handle there. Um, I will tell you to be a little careful with it because this lightsaber does bend really easy. I kind of had problems bending it when I was putting it in his hands, so you might snap it, but uh, you should probably be familiar with how a lot of the lightsabers have been if you've been collecting this lineup. Now, another weird thing I'm going to point out on here is that since he's got that trigger finger sculpted on the right hand, it does always look a little weird when he's holding onto his lightsaber because he looks like he's always pointing. Um, but you can still get some really nice poses, and you can even get some two-handed poses because of his articulation. So, overall, it's a very nice new Luke Skywalker in his Hoth gear. So let's move on to some expanded universe characters, and this one I'm sure is one that a lot of fans are going to want to pick up. Darth Malgus, and this is a very imposing and very cool looking figure. He's got a really great height to him. He stands just a little bit taller than figures like Luke Skywalker, which is great, and he's got a really fantastic sculpt and paint job. His uniform is a nice mix of grays and blacks with a nice kind of gloss on all the black parts and even has some really cool kind of mechanical bits going on with a nice kind of gunmetal silver right there on the chest armor and if you look at his arms he's got a lot of little buttons red and silver uh, very Darth Vader looking in the costume design which is very cool for this particular guy. And then his face has got this really kind of wretched gray skin tone uh, with a really nice kind of evil red eyes, great breathing apparatus. So overall, this guy is a very cool looking figure. He also features a nice black cloth cape, which is attached to the armor that he's wearing. So it's not really removable there. It is attached, but it does look very nice on this particular figure. So let's go ahead and run down his articulation real quick. With that head being on a ball joint, it can look left and right and slightly move up and down, but not too much there. Got nice ball-like joints at the shoulders, so the arms can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. A swivel at the elbow, as well as a standard elbow bend, and swivels at the wrist. He has your standard waist articulation, so it just cuts left and right there. And then he's got that standard cut at the legs, so the legs just move forwards and backwards at the thighs. You can, however, swivel his knees, as well as bend his knees, and you can also bend the ankles forwards and backwards, as well as swivel them side to side. So it's not as articulated as Luke, he's missing some of those ball-like joints, but you should still be able to get some really nice poses out of this guy. And he also includes his fair share of accessories. He has his uh, lightsaber with his very unique hilt, and of course, just like Luke, he's got a version where the blade's not ignited, and you can plug that into his belt if you want to. And then you've got the fully ignited version with the nice translucent red blade sticking out of it. So you can get some really cool poses of him holding that lightsaber. And I also really love the way his hands are molded. So you can get some really great force choke sculpts going on there. And lastly, he comes with this really cool kind of cloak. And this is really neat because uh, the way it works is on the bottom of the hood, there's actually a little bendy wire on the inside. So you can kind of form this however you want. So in order to put this on the figure, you actually just kind of rest it over his shoulders and then you bend the little bendy wire inside to kind of wrap around him so that the cloak is sitting over him. Now in theory that looks really kind of cool and it seems like it should work great, but as I've always seemed to have found with the cloth capes and the smaller scale, it doesn't really sit the way you'd like it to. So it does look a little weird, kind of floating above his head there, but it's still a neat idea for how to do these cloaks. And with a little bit of work there, you can probably get it to look pretty cool. So lastly, we've got my personal favorite in this wave, Starkiller. It's Galen Merrick from the Force Unleashed video game series. I really love the Force Unleashed games. Had a lot of fun with them. So it's kind of cool to see that we're getting a new Starkiller figure all these years later. I kind of thought this would be a character that would be long forgotten at this point, since the games have kind of come and gone so long ago, it seems. But it's great to get a new figure of this guy, and he's got another great sculpt there. Um, really nice articulation, so let's take a look at that. Heads on a ball joint so it can look up and down, left and right. Great ball-like joints at the shoulder so they go outwards, forwards, and backwards. Swivel at the bicep, standard elbow bend, swivels at the wrist. Got a great kind of a torso bend there so his torso can go left and right right there at the waist cut. He does just have that standard articulation at the thighs like we saw with Darth Malgus. Legs go forwards and backwards. Swivel at the knee, standard joint at the knee, swivel at the ankle, and a standard ankle joint that moves it up and down. So, pretty good articulation on this guy here. Another really great thing about him is that he has a ton of accessories. Out of the package, he's wearing a pilot outfit, but it's very cool because you can actually remove all of that pilot gear 
and you can just unplug the little backpack, remove the little gear uh, hanging around his waist, and in its place, you can plug in his more normal armor that he's usually wearing. So you can kind of put on this new belt here, just slides up over the legs, fits on the west waist very nicely. Uh, you got the armor that can fit right over his head, or you can pop the head off the ball joint if that's easier for you. And then he just has these little wrist bracers that snap right there on his wrist, nice and firm and tight, so you don't actually have to worry about him falling off. They actually stick pretty well. And now we've got a second look for Starkiller, which is fantastic. So multiple ways you can display this guy. On top of that, he also comes with two lightsabers, since he's a double lightsaber wielder. And just like the other figures, you do have the little hilts by themselves, and he does have places on his belt where you can hang them, which is always nice. And then he does have two different uh, lightsabers there. The handles are different, both featuring the pale blue blades. And that way you can pose them in his hand, ready to do battle, wielding two lightsabers. Very cool figure. I love that there's multiple ways you can display this guy. And like I said, I think it's awesome getting a new figure of Starkiller. So there you go, my friends. There's a look at Series 3 of 2014 of the 3 and 3 quarter inch Star Wars Black Series. Overall, I feel like this is a very strong wave. The Luke Skywalker and Hoth figure, while being just another Hoth Luke, is still a very nice figure and has some really nice articulation that fans might enjoy. Darth Malgus and Starkiller are definitely the highlights of the wave for me, and then you can always get another astromech droid to add to your collection. So this series is available on store shelves right now, and you can also find it online at places like Big Bad Toy Store. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.